Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit today about some plugins. Uh, actually, some plugins that I had commissioned years ago for a SketchUp. Uh, and they're based on some concepts and actually some plugins that were uh, create, that, that uh, shipped with NewTek Light, LightWave. And uh, so, uh, what I want to do is kind of show you what they are. The, the plugins are, are, here they are, they're Jitter and Merge. I'll have a link to them. Uh, as I said, I commissioned them from Jim Foltz uh, years ago, great uh, plug-in author, uh, and um, and I just <laughs> recently needed one of them and relocated them and started playing around with them. Turns out when you install them, they can't install directly, as in from uh, this preferences pane by going into your extensions. It won't work this way. I don't know why. I'm going to try and figure out what that what that is. But you can drag and drop them into your plugins folder. Uh, so uh, here they are, Jitter and Merge. So let's look at Merge first. Uh, let's take, I'm going to draw a, a, a rectangle here. I'm going to make it uh, 200, comma 200. Okay, so there's 200 square. And uh, now I'm going to uh, just move it over here. And I'm going to move it about two, two, uh, 220 or 240. So two. 40. There we are. Okay, so so this first one is really one merge is one that allows will merge will search out for vertices close to each other and it'll merge those vertices that find it. So if you have some imported file that you want to bring in that's not uh, very uh, clean, uh, this is a plugin that can actually go in and merge those vertices together. So uh, uh, actually, it just really moves this. It, it basically moves this edge to here. So it doesn't really merge them, but it puts them on top of each other. So if you group them and ungroup them, that essentially merges them. So let's go ahead first and let's just uh, select these and group them. So now we have a group. And let's go in the group and let's select all, all the polygons we want to merge. And we'll go in here and say merge. And so now, uh, actually before I do that, let me, let me measure this. Let's see what that is. So that's 40 millimeters. So that divide that by 10 is going to give us the merge, the merge factor. So I'm going to go to extensions. Uh, merge and so the factor is going to be four, uh, not forty, but four or four. There you go. And when you do that, you notice it moved this one over to that one. So it doesn't it doesn't match them halfway in between. It moves one to the other. Uh, yeah. Even so, if you look, we still have we still have two. If I don't if I triple click here, I don't click everything. So I have to actually go in here and explode this now. And now I've got these these vertices all merged together. So it's a really nice, as I said, it's a really nice tool for creating, uh, for, for, for uh, fixing geometry that's imported that doesn't look quite right. Um, sometimes, and sometimes, you, you know, you need to, you may need to, you may see that you got some problems with some radiuses or fillets or something, and you can use this to do this to, uh, in, a, in a complex filling operation to merge some of the some of the vertices in those areas. So you just need to select the polygons you want to merge and then and execute it. So there you go. Um, so let's talk about the second one. The second one is called Jitter. Uh, I was working at the time, I was working uh, for Disney on some uh, concepts for uh, 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 a new online experience. And I was trying to create kind of a cartoony, some cartoony houses and things like that. And as you know, there's no straight lines in there. And so Jitter, what it really does is it's going to create it's going to actually manipulate the vertices of an object. So let's talk about how that works. Let's go in here, uh, play some 3D text. Let's call it uh, ice. And let's make it about uh, 60 by 254 place. There we are. Okay, let's uh, rotate it up. Okay, so here's our... As you, if you know, this is a special kind of format, so I'm gonna have to explode this. This is because it's text, and then regroup it. So now it's now it's no longer is it text. So uh, with Jitter, you want to select the group, and then you go to the extensions and you say Jitter vertices, and here's where is the distance that you're gonna be jittering those vertices. And uh, so you know, I'm gonna play around with this. Let's try let's try two first. So you see what it did? It kind of Jitter it so you can continue to do that extensions jitter. I'm gonna do it one more time with two. You see that it really kind of funkied up that a little bit. Now this is gonna be a great uh this guy can now 
drop this in a key shot and render out some ice, something that looks kind of like ice. So anyway, those I hope that uh, uh, that some of you find these valuable. Uh, I'm also hoping that somebody might uh, a plugin, uh, someone who writes plugins might look at them and find out why they're not importing correctly. So that's about it. Uh, thanks everyone for uh, watching and uh, talk to you later. Bye.